Well, since mid-March, when the first deaths were recorded, more than 16,000 people have died just in UK hospitals, whereas in Germany, the total number who have died from the virus has been just over 4,500. And all that despite the fact that Germany only locked down the day before we did. A sight not seen for many weeks in the north German city of Hanover. The streets beginning to fill, some shops, smaller than 800 square metres, gradually reopening. We filmed the Leuhagen and Paris bookshop as it came out of hibernation this morning. Many of the shelves moved onto the pavement to avoid crowding inside. Strict rules on social distancing put in place. But the most important image, the triumphant We Are Open sign in the window. The owner, Miriam Drala, stands behind a till protected by a thin sheet of perspex, happy to do what it takes for as long as it takes, as long as her business is open. We are all very excited. We are excited because we don't know how many people are going to come, how many customers, I mean, and uh, in what kind of mood they are going to be, if they um, like to be here, if they uh, like to talk with us. So how has Germany managed to get ahead of almost anywhere else in Europe in terms of easing the lockdown? How have its hospitals managed to have spare capacity like this intensive care unit in Munich, despite more than 150,000 cases? So much so that they've taken 200 patients from elsewhere in Europe and shipped 40 ventilators to the UK. The answer seems to be that they started with more than three times the number of ICU beds prepared early and then tested, 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 developing a test kit way back in mid-January and since carrying out close to two million. We feel convinced that the strategy of intensive testing and restricting social contacts is working in Germany. But I personally feel that most of the countries who initially followed a rather open course and not restricting much and not testing much are gradually switching into the other direction. You see this in Britain, you see it in, in the US and I seem to understand that it also goes slowly into this direction in Sweden as well. It's not just that people as here in Berlin can queue at a local testing clinic if they feel they may have been exposed or go to drive through centres like this one in Dresden where results are promised within 10 hours. In the picturesque city of Heidelberg in Western Germany, an ITV News team filmed medics preparing to visit COVID-19 patients who are self-isolating at home, using a fleet of former school buses so they go to patients rather than patients come to clinics or fill hospital beds. With no apparent shortage of PPE here, they test to confirm the diagnosis, then monitor to ensure anyone deteriorating is moved to hospital quickly. They believe these teams, many made up of volunteer medical students, have saved many lives. The German government says it will monitor the relaxation of rules very carefully. They're acutely conscious of the dangers of a second wave of infections, but so far claim some satisfaction in the way they've stayed on top of this crisis. James Mates, News at 10.